Welcome fitness friends. Welcome to My Mat, My World. A little bit of Hatha flow today, or uh, maybe not flow, but holding poses. So whenever you're ready, inhale all the way up. And exhale, moving to the side. And inhaling up. And to the other side. Inhaling up. Bringing the hands to the heart center widening the feet and bending the knees. Sitting the glutes toward the floor and breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Moving the hands to the top of the thighs, pushing the glutes back and just holding right here in a half lift position with bent knees. Moving the toes toward the front and bending over, stretching the hamstrings. Walking those hands in front of the eyeballs and just push down into the floor, activating the lats and the scaps. So in other words, I'm trying to pull my uh, fingertips toward my toes. So pushed into the floor and then pulling. Relax, bending the knees, rolling up. Inhaling and exhaling, coming back to that temple pose. When you're ready, inhale all the way up, holding at star. Five-pointed star. Changing your feet to a warrior two. So knee over the ankle on the front foot, your back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Holding pose and breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Reverse warrior, drop the back hand down the back of the leg, looking up if you can or wherever is comfortable for your head and neck. From right here, straighten your leg and holding that reverse warrior pose again. Coming into warrior two, finding breath again. And moving to side angle pose. One elbow toward the thigh, the other hand can go up to sky or up and over the top for an extended angle. If you have the flexibility, you can drop the lower hand to the floor. Finding breath right here. Release, moving to warrior two and back to five-pointed star. When you're ready, changing the toes, moving to warrior two on the other side. Same setup, knee over the ankle, back foot parallel to the back of the mat. And if you're not sure, take a look. Once again, finding breath. If your shoulders are getting tired, wiggle them out, bring it back. You can bring it right here if you're not sure and then open it up. Reverse warrior again. Straightening your leg. Then moving to warrior two once again. Side angle pose, up and over if you like. And coming to warrior two, five pointed star again. Fingertips move up, 
and walk those feet in just a little bit, finding that temple pose once again. When you're ready, five-pointed star. Moving to warrior two once again. Knee over the ankle. Straighten your front leg. Push forward and drop down. So you can put hand at the thigh or you can bring it all the way down. Where is your flexibility for triangle pose? Bending into the knee. Bring the hand down. We're taking both hands to the tailbone for humble warrior. You can stay right here. Or you can lift up and drop in a little further. Your choice. It's a big hip stretch. Find your breath. And coming up for warrior two once again. Change the toes. Five-pointed star. And you can make your star up here if you like. That's up to you. Turning the toes, warrior two. Straighten your front leg. When you're ready, push forward and find triangle. Soften the front knee. Bring the hands around to the back. Finding humble warrior. Knee is still over the ankle. Drop in a little further if you like, or just stay right here. I have part of my chest or my shoulder resting on my upper thigh. You are welcome to do that. I'm just I'm being kind of lazy today. When you're ready, moving up to warrior two. Moving to five pointed star. Bring it into temple pose. You may have to adjust those feet just a little bit. When you're ready, five pointed star. Turning the toes, find warrior two. Side angle pose, once again. Turning the toes, finding a lunge. You can take knee down in the back if you like. In your lunge, my right knee is forward, my right hand moves to the sky for a twist. In this pose, we're staying right here, but we're going to straighten that front leg and find a revolved triangle. This one's tough. You're going to feel everything twitching, bringing it down. Moving into warrior two. Change the feet to five-pointed star. And then warrior two. Other side. Take a look. Knee over the ankle. Moving to side angle pose. Finding your breath.
changing to a lunge. Take that hand down. Toes are pointing the same direction. Left knee is forward, left hand moves up, finding a twist. Holding right here and straightening the front leg. Ooh, each side is a little different. Ooh, that one just is not going as straight as I would like it to. Ooh, coming in to warrior two. Good job. And five pointed star. Walk the toes in a little bit, finding temple pose. Moving the hands down. Toes are pointed forward. If you have the flexibility, walk those fingertips toward the back. Let gravity have your ponytail. Releasing the hands and bringing the knees down. Hands and knees. Now you can do hands and knees or you can do fists and knees. Completely up to you. Exhale, push the belly up. We are moving to cat. And inhale the belly down for cat. And exhale. And inhale. Moving to the glutes for boat pose. Fingertips can remain down in the back. We're bringing, start bringing the hands out, pushing the chest open, the shoulders back. Extending your legs. And release, coming forward. Legs forward, move the fingertips up for staff pose. Open the chest, looking toward the top of the wall. When you're ready, bringing the fingertips down and adding a twist. So I'm bringing my foot in close to my inner thigh. My left knee is up, my right arm moves around. I'm looking back as far as I can go and pushing up to a nice, tall, seated pose. leaving the legs the way they are. Reverse the twist. So you can take your hand toward the foot or on the other side of the knees. Once again, sitting up nice and tall. Now let's add something a little fun here. If you have the flexibility, bring your arm down and take the hands, if you can reach your hands, clasping your hands and bringing that leg up if you like. Coming into Another boat pose. I'm bringing it down. Now if that didn't work for you going around the whole leg, you can take it underneath and come in to a modified version. Your choice, bringing it down. Moving into staff sit again. Chest is open, elbows are back by the ears. And relax, go ahead and lean forward for just a moment. And coming in, bring the other foot in close to the thigh. My right knee is up, so that means my right hand is going to be in the floor. Find your twist, sit up nice and tall, look back as far as you can, flex your loose toe if you like, or just let it relax. Leaving the knees the way they are, unwind the pose. Hand comes in and we twist the other direction. Sit up tall. This is hard. And then if you like, just for fun, remember wrap around. Whoa, one side's going to be different. Coming up if you like.
a little easier on the other side, for me anyway. A little bit of playtime there, and stretch it out. Release, shake your head. And coming up, bring one foot in toward the inner thigh again. And then stretch to your long leg. Release the pose. Stay uh, legs in this position and take, I have right long leg, I'm going to take my right hand down toward the ankle and then open my left hand to the sky. And I'm going to look back if I can. If that doesn't work, I'm going to look wherever my neck says is okay. If you like, and you can stay open in the chest, you can bring the hand over the top. Your choice. Releasing the pose. Moving the other foot in. Stretch to your long leg. And coming up, the same thing. My left leg is out. I'm going to take my right hand toward my ankle and move my, I mean, my left hand is toward my ankle and my right hand moves back. So left leg, left hand. If I feel like it, I'm going to take my hand overhead. Today, that's kind of a big stretch for me. So I'm going to remain right here. Release the pose, moving the feet down the mat once again, stretching forward. Moving back, coming into boat pose. a little bit fun here. So we're going to take, bring the foot into the opposite elbow. And then if you can, bring this elbow around. And this is rocking the baby. Now, uh, for me, I, my spine is a little rounded right here. And so I'm still working on straightening my spine. So this, if I wanted a straight spine, this is where I would be. My hands would not necessarily connect. So that's up to you. So rock your baby and release. And then when you're ready, moving to the other side and I'll show you what that looks like with my back. So as you can see, it is very round right there. My hands are connected. Now if I open my hands up, I can sit up a little taller. And this just depends on what you like. Um, rounding probably isn't as pretty as sitting up nice and tall. And I wish I could get my elbows around there, but it's not going to happen right now. Bringing it out, open the feet just a little bit, and then stretch forward. Release hand on either side. Lift one leg, point and flex. You're going to feel that right here. And then the other side, relax. Stretch towards first. And now we'll move to the other side. Hands on either side of the thigh, lifting the leg, point and flex. I'm bringing it down. Straighten toward that side. And relax. When you're ready, we are moving to the spine for candlestick pose. So toes move up into the sky. We are ready to wrap this up. Point and flex. And when you're ready, bringing the heels toward the glutes. 
pressing the belly to the sky for shoulder bridge. Oh my, that's a big stretch in the quads. If you like, you can push the shoulders, walk those shoulders underneath the chest and push up just a little higher. If you have the flexibility, you can walk the feet back and grab your ankles. When you're finished, coming down, bringing the knees into the chest, raising the head, neck, and shoulders, pressing the low back into the earth. Now from here, you can stretch all the way out and take a little Shavasana, or you can come up with me into a comfortable seated pose for you. Inhaling all the way up. And exhale, leaning to the side. Inhaling up. And the other side. And inhaling up. Bringing those hands to the heart center for your exhale. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.